please give me something heraldic to start the episode. E Ooh. It's actually a pretty good clue, I'm not gonna lie. 150k's worth of alcohols, I'll take it. Another hard clue casket out the way. I it's it's very good. I every hard clue is good to me, but this was pretty good. Did about an hour of pyramid plunder and I left my last room with like 200 XP left, so I just finished it off. And Master Farmers, but there we go, 61 Thieving, we can now enter the 5th room of Pyramid Plunder, which, again, I'm not really sure what I should do for Pyramid Plunder, I, I'm not sure if I should, or for Thieving, if I should, you know, just grind out Pyramid Plunder, because I, do, I don't really mind Pyramid Plunder, it's not so bad, but, you know, with the uh, other methods being quite click intensive, I'm just sort of tempted to keep doing Thieving at Pyramid Plunder for now, but, anyways, there we go, 61 Thieving, another skill in the 60s. Check this out, baby, G Mall. First one on the account. Do we have a full spec? We do, yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Wait, which one's on me? This one. Oh, using using the granite mall against the gargoyle. That's sort of wrong, but feels good. I mean, I won't be using this for probably anything maybe in Nightmare Zone for that really special attack or really nice special attack or thing where you get constant special attack power, but I don't really know. We'll see. Anyways, cool little milestone there. First granite mall. I've had to drop so many clues because I don't have a heraldic helm. I don't have a heraldic shield. There's anything. I'd prefer to get that over third age, man. No! This is so ass. All right, so for the past, I don't know how long, it's been many hours, I have been camping gargoyles, mainly because they're pretty AFK to kill, they're pretty good money, and they drop a bunch of steel bars, which I really wanted for my cannonballs, because I'm out of cannonballs. So you know, per, per one steel bar, you get four cannonballs. So technically from that, I got, what, times four? Not that many, it's still 2,100 cannonballs just out of that. And I also got one mil cash, 4,100 pure essence. Actually, that seems like a lot. Wow, maybe I did get that money. Anyways, 4,100 pure essence is quite a lot. Mithril bars, gold bars, gold ore, a bunch of chaos and death runes. 15 runite ore, which I really can't do anything with at the moment, but again, they're just nice to have. And again, the one mil cash from just going to Gargoyles is pretty dang amazing. Obviously, I was wearing Torx, so I'm gonna lose a bit of that when repairing this stuff. But that puts my cash stack up to two mil plus. I have a bunch of stuff in my coffer at Miscellanea. And now I can go make some of these um, steel bars into cannonballs, which is really good. So the G mall count is up to like four, I think. No, just kidding, three. <laughs> nice. And then we can check my log here really quick for the gargoyles, which are down here. We killed 590. I think this was like probably four hours there or something. I didn't really keep track of it. I was just sort of there while doing other things. And the one thing I do have to do now, though, is get more monkfish because I'm running low. Monkfish was sort of suck, so I'll have to camp there for a while. But that is what I'd been doing for pretty much the entire day yesterday. Or not the entire day, but like half the day. But uh, yeah, so that gets us up to 84 strength as well, 101 combats. But uh, I think right now I'm going to go back to either skilling or going back to Slayer. I have to say, I think the worst thing in the world actually is making cannonballs on an Iron Man. I just can't... I is there better ways of getting cannonballs on, on an Iron Man? I know that smithing them is, is really AFK. It's not the worst thing in the world, but... Oh, whoops. I just feel like it's so slow, man. Anyways, all those uh, steel bars are now smelted. We now have... Or smithed? Smelted? Smelted sounds better than the cannonballs. Uh, back to 2,200. I think last time I had about 2,000 as well. So, yeah. Just uh, another thing out of the way. Guess who is finally doing farm run, boys? I hate to say it. I am this long into my account, and this is, I think, only my second ever herb run. Herb run. I hate that. Anyways, uh, yeah, 50 farming. Well, wait, we have base 50. No, I knew that. I thought that was last episode. Never mind. I thought I had, for some reason, I thought I had 47 farming. But, yeah, first farm run, we're doing our Renar seeds. We only have six in the bank, but I figured, you know, well, I might as well just do every seed I have. I do need a bunch more Irrit and Quorum for some super attack and strength potions. But uh, yeah, I guess the next clip will be me actually picking these Renar seeds and hoping to get a bunch of them. We have a huge col I'm going the wrong way. I haven't done farm run so long. Is it this way? Yeah. No, this is no, this is the wrong way. Is it? I forget. I'll figure it out. Nah, this was the right way. Just kidding. Up the troll ladder. But uh, yeah, we have a bunch of prayer potions because we don't we don't really use many during Slayer tasks. I just sort of use all my food instead of prey flicking or or just praying the entire time. But here we go. Let's see what, how many we get from the next clip. All right, and exactly one night later, we finish our first yield of Renar Seeds. We are now out of Renar Seeds, by the way. Well, we have one left. I can only do one run of Renar Seeds. I need to get more. I have done 
at least six or seven troll tasks, which apparently are pretty good for Renarsi drops. I've only gotten one from them, so that's very disappointing. But our first run gives us 26. So I guess an average of five per patch. So not too bad, 26 free prayer potions, even though it's a bit less technically. But uh, yeah, now we have Irrit Seeds next. Let's get it, baby. 1600 total. Been a long time, been a long time, been a long time coming. Fortunately, we can't really do anything with 53 construction. Ideally, what I really want to get up to is 67 construction, because then I can make the lecterns, which allow me to make a bunch of the teleport tablets that I feel like I desperately need at the moment. So I need the invisible boost, I think, to get that. I can probably do it at, what, 60 construction to get the plus seven there, but I'm most likely I'm gonna get something like 62, 63, just to get a little bit easier. But that's still quite a ways away. That's still 10 levels of construction, which at the end of the day, isn't that much, but the method I'm doing isn't that fast. So I don't know, we'll, we'll try to get it later. All right, I'm embarking on a very, very silly mini quest to be doing right now, but the ghostly robes don't really care about them as much, but the end reward of this is a massive 10K. <laughs> XP lamp. The risk is probably not worth it, but I really want the 10k XP lamp. And uh, yeah, that quest is the Ghostly Robes quest, Curse of the Empty Lords. So we're going to be starting that right now. And I really hope, I don't think I need to, there's there's probably a, a good possibility I have to go to Deep Wilderness to, to finish this quest. I think there's a chance that I don't have to go out there if I get lucky, but uh, we'll see. So the first guy is right here. And then, uh, oh man, Heart pumping. So this guy tells me that the next person I'm looking for, Renard, is northeast of here. If you can see this conversation, where is it? Right here, in the evil land to the northeast. Now on the wiki, it tells me that if I get that option right here, he mentions the thief being northeast of here, I have to do sequence two. And in sequence two, as you can see, they both go straight down the sequence one, two, and three. I'm sequence two, so I have to go to the bandit camp in the wilderness, then the graveyard of shadows. Port Serum, Edgeville Monastery, and then the Slayer Tower, which isn't too bad. Three of the five of these are not in the wilderness, and these aren't too bad. The rough ones, I think, are actually sequence one, where you have to go to the, the shipwrecked ship near the pirate hideout out in deep wilderness. And then there, in sequence one, you also have to go to the Rogue's Castle, which is pretty rough. The Chaos Temple, level 38 wilderness, that's three in the wilderness. This one over here isn't, well, actually, End of the Lava Maze sort of stinks. In the bandit camp. So sequence two actually I think is the best one I've could have gone. I don't know, but we're gonna have to do sequence two now and hope we don't die. Alright, we made it here, but the question is how do we talk to him now? I it's gonna be impossible for me to get to I think I have to lure them all in here or something. It's actually gonna be incredibly annoying. I just have to lure them all in the shops now. Oh god. Oh not even lure them in here. Alright. Let's do it. Get in here, boys. Very clean. Very clean, Stefan. Well done. Beautiful. I don't think anybody's gonna come here. I mean, it is multi, but I don't think clans ever come here since it's so easy to teleport out. But let's just finish up, man. Give me your gloves, and now we gotta find Karim. Perfect. Another one done. Now, this place I'm a bit more scared of because this is a common place to teleport into Graveyard of Shadows, and the chance of me finishing a conversation with with, uh, with the ghost here is very small because these zombies and ghosts here. Oh wait, he's just right here. I <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That actually might be genius, because they might not come up to me. All right, let's finish the conversation. No, I'm t I don't want the ghost to be getting me alone. Don't attack me, please. Really quick, finish it, finish, finish, finish. Tell me your story. Please, please, please. Thank God for the space option. No, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Yes. I think this is a perfect spot. Did they purposely place him? Don't you dare. <gasps> yes! Did I get it? Was that clutch? Yes! Oh my god. That was amazing. Alright, now we're in safer waters. We're, get it? Because we're in Port Serum. Alright, we're in a safer area, and we're talking to Lanissa, whatever her name is, I don't even know. Um, don't have to worry about dying here. It's going to finish this part, and then we're going to get, I think, the gloves here, maybe? We'll see. There. Oh, the robe, even better. Alright, robe is now finished. Next one I talked to is Dalek in the Edgeville Monastery, so let's finish this one. This should be the hood. And there is the hood now finished. All right, and the final one is in the Canifus Slayer Tower. So let's finish talking to him. And there is the ghostly cloak. Finish talking to him, and that should finish all of the things. Right? Maybe? Let's check. Yeah, Curse of the Empty Lord. This quest is now complete. Perfect. Or mini quest now complete. And now we should be able to go talk to the historian and get ourselves 
the 10k xp lane all right here he is please don't make me do anything else i beg you i have information for you man give it to me perfect all right there's the whole his whole story he should give it to us it's a lot of info boom antique lamp and if we use that on her blower oh there it is 10k up to 59 is that i think that's only one level but still uh can we make anything out of that super strength mix you can also clean oh i thought we could make a potion for a second weird uh ideally we want to get up to what level do you need for super defense it's actually pretty high isn't it yeah 66 unnecessarily high i think but uh yeah quick tip for any of you guys who need kudos who, who want a or who want a 10k xp lamp that's the quest you can do for it the curse of the lord or empty lord mini quest and we also have full ghostly as well which i don't know if it's gonna be useful for anything in the future who knows maybe for something you guys are probably a bit more knowledgeable on that than i am but uh yeah anyways guys that's it for today's episode thank you all for watching sorry for not many videos but uh just lots of grinding on this account which takes a little bit longer now that i'm higher skills but uh they'll keep coming 1601 total now as well and i'll see you guys next time for the next video peace